I want to turn to his announcement that he's sending the National Guard uh, to the border. Uh, President Obama did the same, as did George W. Bush, without effect. Uh, th this president is taking on an issue that is actually the creation of his own party. Uh, that is, Speaker Ryan refused, and actually just insulting the president, refusing to uh, honor even a part of his request for the uh, border wall, uh, actually reducing the number of ICE agents for interior security against illegal immigration uh, and, uh, drug, and drug and human smuggling. Uh, this is outrageous. He had to act, did he not? Absolutely. The, the border is our front door. You've got to secure the house that is America, and that starts by, with our borders. You're, you're absolutely right. That, that very disingenuous uh, uh, lady you had uh, in the previous segment who tried to say this has nothing to do with the GOP. Well, who's running the Senate? Who's running yeah. the House? It's their mandate to do so. They hold the purse strings. They fail this president. They fail the American people. You know, what, why can we not... We are the most powerful nation the world has ever seen in history, and we can't secure our borders. Hungary has secured its borders. This little country in the center of Europe has built a fence to stop illegal migration. What about America? What about America? And uh, the answer is uh, we elected uh, Donald J. Trump in 2016, and uh, it's, it's an awfully good thing for the country that we did because uh, we would be watching the rhinos led by uh, Ryan and McConnell, the business roundtable, the Chamber of Commerce, and the left wing. Uh, it would be disastrous. Uh, open borders, harmonization of borders, uh, the claptrap that was spewed by those who would like to see a North American Union be the result uh, rather than a, a sovereign United States. This is, uh, this is the time, this is a historic juncture. Uh, and had we not elected President Trump, I, I despair to think what the result would have been. Well, just remember, Lou, we now have the leaked transcript of that speech that the other presidential candidate gave to that group of international bankers. And what did Hillary say? Her dream is to have a borderless hemisphere mm -hmm. from Canada all the way down to Belize, all the way down to South Latin America, Central America. No borders. In that case, the phrase United States of America would have meant nothing. Dr. Sebastian Gorka, good to see you. Thanks for Thank being you, with Lou. us.